Okay, so I thought I'd make a video teaching you about vaginas, as you do. Um, to help me, I drew this uh, grey person, um, and you can see that this grey person look has a vulva and bladder and uh, womb and uterus and stuff. Uh, so I'll just recap you on all of that stuff. So this is a side-on picture of um, uh, the vulva and female reproductive organs I guess so on the right there you can see there's the ovary that's where eggs are released the fallopian tube the eggs go down and there's the womb or the uterus where fertilization and babies happen um, then uh, more importantly for this video on the left you can see there is the clitoris um, you might have seen in the other video that um, it's much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside so you can see um, the small kind of p-shape at the top is the bit you can see on the outside but inside it's really really big more on that in a bit. Um, beneath that is the urethra where we and female ejaculation comes out. Again, see the other video. Um, it's to do with the prostate gland. You can see there is uh, the G-spot area, which is the upper wall of the vagina. Might talk about that in a bit. There is the vagina and there is the cervix. Um, so you can see all that together. The picture you can see on the right here is um, the, the picture of the vagina at rest, which is a bit of a weird uh, term, but it's one that they use in research. It's basically a vagina that isn't turned on. Um, and you can see here that when vaginas do get turned on, they change shape uh, pretty in a pretty big way. So um, the entrance to the vagina doesn't get very much bigger, but all the stretching happens deep inside the vagina, kind of further along the vaginal canal and also around the fornix, uh, which might be a term you've never used, you've never heard used before, but I'll come on to it in a second. So um, uh, during arousal, the clitoris gets hard. So um, in similar way to how erections happen for penises, erections happen for clitorises as well. So blood rushes into the clitoris and it gets hard and it throbs and it feels great for people who have clitorises. And you can see it uh, throbbing here That's in my excellent animation um, and the vagina gets really wet so some people produce more wetness than others um, and some people uh, feel like they don't produce enough wetness which means that they have to use like additional lubrication and stuff but generally speaking the vagina gets pretty wet okay much more wet than when it's resting okay um, and you can see that um, the vagina stretches so the vagina stretches around the fornix area uh, mostly. Here is the fornix and um, there are two bits of the fornix. There's the bit in front of the cervix and the bit behind the cervix um, which is purple here and the bit in front of the cervix is called the anterior fornix for all you sex geeks out there and the bit behind is called the posterior fornix. This is the bit where most of the stretching happens. Okay. So if you're going to have entry sex, if entry sex is your thing, and you like doing that with penises or fingers or um, sex toys, I'm using a sex toy here in this um, particular video, um, you can see that when the vagina is really, really aroused, the sex toy moves into this space called the fornix and it stretches it. Okay, So it moves either into the anterior fornix or into the posterior fornix. And depending on where the sex toy or penis or fingers go, kind of um, depends on the shape and the size and on what position you're in. So this is why some people like to have sex in particular positions. So um, being in front or behind or on top might feel more comfortable for somebody if they prefer um, the penis or toy or fingers to be in a particular place. You can also see here that the cervix actually gets pushed up um, during sex. Um, uh, particularly when it goes into when the toy in this case goes into the posterior fornix um, so there's an awful lot of movement and stretching and stuff inside the vagina which a lot of people don't really realize and um, why am I telling you all this well first of all it's really important to understand how the vagina works and I think it's important to understand how your body works but also because of that a lot of people have sex which ends up being quite painful um, particularly entry sex because they haven't understood about the fornix stretching and how that's really, really important and how it's really important to get turned on 
before you have this kind of sex because it can hurt. And it hurts because if the fornix doesn't stretch, the penis or fingers or toy can hit the cervix, which can feel really, really painful. So that's why it's really important to understand how arousal works um, deep inside the vagina. The other reason I made this video is that there are a lot of myths around the vagina. Like people think that after sex, the vagina um, gets really, really loose and never gets to be as tight as it was before sex. It's just not true. Okay, The vagina returns to um, its resting state and the same size after sex. There's a lot of muscle surrounding the vagina. Um, these are called Kegel muscles, if you want to look it up. Um, and um, so it goes back to its, uh, its pre arouse state afterwards okay so to learn more about um, the vagina and other parts of your sexual anatomy and the things to do with sex and relationships go to bishuk.com thanks for watching